Um, I just want a, a small podcast here to a reflection on a video I saw yesterday. Um, yesterday we had our men's prayer group um, that we would normally have on a Thursday. I don't lead it. It's another man that started it. Um, he's doing great work. Um, I think he's he's uh, focused on the right things and trying to bring men back to um this real contact with Christ and it's it's crucial in the church today um I but anyway when I'm driving this men's prayer group's an hour and a half away so it's it's a whole evening um it's three hours a three and a half hours drive for me to go to this group and come back so when I'm going when I'm in the car I usually put on podcasts Catholic podcasts something to listen to while I'm on the road and yesterday I listened to um well pint uh, there's a, a famous Catholic channel Pints with Aquinas, is very well known um uh, Mad Frash has uh, leads this this channel and he had on yesterday a guy called John Edwards um and it was from cocaine to Christ with John Edwards now anyone uh, outside America doesn't know if you Google John Edwards you're probably going to see this medium coming up there um because that's what I did <laughs> I didn't know who who he was um it's not that guy John Edwards uh, he's got a website just a guy in the pew and pe pew is spelled p-e-w so just a guy in the pew so I really suggest you you go to to that website I'll put a link here below um great interview it was um about two and a half hours long and um so i have to i have to call out uh um i have to call out the the interview you know it's pretty well well done and um, and strangely enough when uh when in the interview um he talks about uh my grace is sufficient for you and my power is made perfect in weakness and we spoke about this in in our it came up in our prayer group yesterday in our in our biblical study that we do um and the priest spoke about it so i i just thought how how both of them um, went in together uh so um you know I, I i do think more men should 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 uh, get involved in their faith should uh, dedicate their, some time to the faith if you really believe in it you know if you really believe in it if you really believe that the eucharist is coming into contact with the body of christ with christ our lord our savior if you really believe in the faith we should um as much as possible try to um to uh uh, to preach it you know as layman so john i think your work is fantastic brilliant uh, i couldn't um i can't um i can't um say more about it i just think i've looked at your website um just a guy in the pew um so any of the irish lads around ireland uh you know please support him he's got a youtube channel um and you know it's good to have in the English speaking word, it's good to see this this network of laymen coming out now to try and promote the faith. Um, and uh, more men should do this. More, it, you know, there's no doubt about it. More men should do this night. And I think it's great to see what John Edward is doing. Um, uh, I mean, it's a very he he's very much American focused Catholicism, and I understand that there it, it is slightly different to what we have here in Ireland, um, slightly not not massively, but you know I think we can learn from each other. Um, there's definitely a gap to be filled in what John has doing in trying to help men come to Christ, trying to help men overcome addictions, trying to help men be men, uh, you know, men sharp, steel sharpen steel, men, you know, men helping men helps men grow. Stronger men, stronger families, stronger children, stronger society. That's simply the way it is. You know, there is no, uh, you know, the worst thing a man can do is be isolated and not have um not have that support of a community of men around him so you know i just think uh, john's work is amazing um and I, I i really hope we see more apostles like this coming out in the church um uh, because it's badly needed you know it's badly badly needed we need more male men to be leaders in the faith uh, and it's not easy 
it's not i find it hard i find it you know i find this great struggle myself you know you're trying to you know you say i'm not i'm, I'm not i'm not the great theologian i'm not the great preacher i don't know much i i you know i i you feel uh, I'm surely God is going to find somebody else far better than me to do this work. I think every man who's confronted with being asked to preach about Christ becomes confronted with that message. Surely, God, you will find somebody else to do this. And at the end of the day, we just have to accept to do our small bit in the church and to love, preach and grow the faith around us to be as best we can. I don't do it very well. I don't feel I do it very well. That's just me. That's life. But... You know, at the end, we, we need to pick up the gospel, the word of God, and preach Christ and, and draw people to the Eucharist. Because if we're doing that, if we're preaching Christ and if we're drawing people to the, to the Eucharist, it's not our message. You know, because at, we, could, we could leave the scene. We could, who knows what could happen to us. We should be passing on Christ pure christ his message to other men and letting them encounter christ themselves so that they can grow in the faith uh, it's not about personalities it's not about apostolates here it's not about our work it's not about it's about passing on christ and so i just thought it was very very well done a video um and really i think people should listen if you're in the car pull out um, uh, sign up to uh, Matt Fred's channel which is Pints with Aquinas and to um, YouTube channel uh, Just a Guy in the Pew just sign up you can always listen to a video in the car it, it gives you ideas and it's it's I think it's great to see these apostles coming together in the church uh, we need more of this <laughs> in, in the world uh, we need more of this in Ireland obviously um, and sometimes we just have to say, you know, if not me, who? Who's going to do this? Who's going to push forward the gospel in in an in increasingly desecularized society? Uh, one thing about the about the video is, uh, and I've heard it in our our own men's group. You know, many men struggle with different things. When you confront your struggles with other men, and you you ground yourself in the in in the gospel, in the sacraments, in the Eucharist. You grow towards Christ. We become, we become, we, 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 we progress in our spiritual life. When we are isolated and we're, we're focused on our, on our problems, we, we move towards the opposite. And it's really, really, really important to push forward these apostles where men are growing together, uh, uh, being taught together, uh, understood, understanding the the gospel together and living that deep sense of prayer of of grace and i'm not an expert i can say it i'm not an expert i i i really uh you know i just uh you can look at you can look at yourself and you can come the temptation you can come you can succumb to the temptation saying well look i'm I'm really nobody. I'm just this failed seminarian who left the seminary 20 odd years ago and got married and had kids. And who am I to <laughs> to really um, uh, uh, be an expert on the faith and to be a leader on the faith and to even preach about Christ? You know, you can succumb to that temptation and say, I am so fallen and so um, sinful and so uh, ignorant of the faith that, you know, I could I could never preach about Christ because I get that temptation all the time or you can say um this message is so powerful i found it so powerful so compellingly powerful that uh, i just cannot stop you know i just couldn't uh, you know and people might say i'm crazy that's life <laughs> you know but you know it's a message that's that's come down to us over 2000 years the Eucharist has been with the church for 2,000 years. And I'm not talking about anything other than what has been lived for the last 2,000 years, which is a really compelling message. So don't listen to me. Listen to the author. Go to the author. Go to our Lord and experience him in the Eucharist. These tried and tested spiritual um, uh, tools that are in the church that, you know, once you experience them, they're, they're life-changing. 
and uh, I can really see that I can relate to that in the in the in the video um, and we need more of this in the church guys we absolutely need more of this um, and we need to uh, we need to start working on this to 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 uh, help um, other men come to the faith um, because it's a it cascades down into our society into our families uh, better marriages better better children better society better workplaces and so on and so on and so on uh, so anyway big call out to john um edwards from the apostle just a guy in the pew um and uh, i just think um, it's, it's great to see he's got a very good website I'm, I'm really impressed i hope catholics will fund him give a small donation to his apostolate um, because it's not easy and uh, if, if he's dedicating his life to this apostolate he needs to support his family you know it's not about making him a millionaire here it's about making sure his apostolate is is growing and funded in a meaningful way so that you know he can bring it forward you know dedicate yourself to that apostle bring it forward so i really encourage people if possible you know um donate something to him send him something uh, encouragement um uh, you know it's 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 uh, it's it's important in the church um uh, you know sometimes money taints these apostles i understand that i understand it really well um uh, back in 2000 and um in 18 i was walking with uh, matthew pinto he's the founder of ascension press we were walking together on the camino in spain and uh, we discussed that you know how to how to have apostolates that are not money driven and so forth but um there has to be a balance and yes and we have to we have to have these apostles we have to vote we have to keep them funded and uh, a small donation for many catholics really helps out that's my my view and and uh, I, I hope i hope other men support him but uh, you know really good really good work really really impressed and uh, it's good to see it's good to see these these uh, these apostles lay led apostles growing in the church and uh, it, and you, you just can't beat that raw encounter with christ that raw experience of, the, of, of grace and of the faith you know it's life-changing it has been for me and uh, uh you know christ leads us where he wants us to go and you know we're not the perfect people i am certainly not <laughs> people know me but at the end of the day my my message is it's not my message it's not my experience it's not i'm not it's i'm just i'm just calling out just let's go to the author experience christ himself take a chance on him you know, open your heart, take a chance on him, his message. And uh, and I can see that's what John is doing. Um, and, uh, um, you know, uh, if more men did that, we wouldn't be lost in addictions and uh, and and, um, and all these other things that destroy our lives, that, can, that take us away from our true nature, our true mission, which is to be a father, which is to sacrifice, um you know these these are things that 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 uh, help men so um anyway i'll put some links here in the bottom of the video and if you can just uh just please support him i think uh, it's a big shout out to you john uh we're we're uh, a lot of men around the world behind you behind your apostolate behind what you're doing keep going keep praying pray the rosary uh you know if you uh, if you want your apostolate to be um if you want your post to be what what Christ wants it to, to be, make sure his mother is always involved. Keep her, um, keep her, uh, very close to you. Um, and my only call out on your on your website would would be, you know, uh, put Mary there as well, because it it's uh, through Mary um, you come to Jesus through Mary, and she's a powerful intercessor and she loves her sons. She loves her sons. She, if, you know, Mary is a, is a, you know, I've always found her to be the great, um, I mean, she's the jewel, the, the beloved mother of our Lord. So my, that would be my only, only suggestion, you know, um, because there's, as I was going through your website, John, I didn't see, um, 
I did. I just I have. I I you don't see uh, Our Lady mentioned, or a photo of her or anything uh, on any of the tabs, um, and so we're we're Catholics and uh, just just that would be my only suggestion, um, but a great website and great work. Keep it going, keep um uh, up the good work. It's 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 definitely needed and uh, and uh, yeah. Who knows? You might even be over here in Ireland giving a speech someday after COVID. This COVID madness is over. Anyway, uh, God bless. Take care and greetings, greetings from Ireland.